All right, so real quick before we get started, stay tuned for the end of this video because we are giving away something special to you. It's our first giveaway. I'm so excited. And it's something really cool. I actually tried talking her out of it. I was like, it's going to be worth he a did. lot of money. He, he, I was like, and I don't care because I want to give it to you guys. Okay, I don't no, need to keep it. no, hold I don't on, need to keep it. hold on, stop yourself. <laughs> I said it might be worth a lot of money later on in life, and you looked at me and you were like, Jackie. <laughs> you guys i'm mike i'm brie welcome to fracture compass and today we are going to discuss star wars galaxy's edge galaxy's edge big news big news we've been contemplating when it was going to open and they have finally announced may 31st is going to be the date yeah. that the first phase and i'm going to like italic bold underline first phase of star wars galaxy and we're gonna get in a little more into that um yeah. later in the video but that's just initial like feelings and reactions right now is that wow like this moved by really fast i figured like i felt like they just started construction and now they already have an opening date it's just crazy to me how quickly it got up and like to some people it might have felt like a long time but like relatively speaking the land, the concept, because it's a very high concept. Yeah. Um, it it got built very, very quickly. So that's always really, really exciting. And we've been watching like construction updates. You guys have been following us and it's just, it's it's coming, it's here. Yeah. So let's just give off our initial opinion. How do you, what do you, how, what are you feeling right now about this land um, and the opening and the announcement? I want to, first I want to kind of my opinion about the land is that I'm like, I'm glad it's close to being done. Yeah. I don't necessarily like kind of agree with why are we doing this in phases? Um, that was we, another thing that we, like, yeah, we ahead. saw that. <sighs> Ooh, are you okay? <gasps> Hand down. We saw this in Pixar Pier where they opened it up early uh, and they're like, oh, the anticipation and blah, blah, blah. They opened it up and we're still not done. We're still waiting for Jesse's yeah. Critter Carousel. We're still waiting and for Inside Out, Inside Out headquarters. Oh, yeah. um, I feel like when that kind of thing happens, like I get it, you know, they want to open up the land as, as quick as possible, get people in there, get more people like exposed and have the experience. But I just feel like when it's opening and it's incomplete, it kind of robs the magic of, of the land itself. You know, like Pixar Pier, I was like, oh, like, yay, Pixar Pier is open, but not everything's open. And I know that's kind of greedy of me and I'm very spoiled. Hi. I'm very spoiled when it comes to that, and I get it. I know why Disneyland's doing it this way. It just, I just wish it wasn't going to be that way. I wish that everything was open. We yeah. could experience the whole land for itself because, as you guys know, and if you guys don't know, get ready for this. Um, you're going to have to make a reservation from May or 31st till June 23rd. And so that's, you know, a good thing and a bad thing. A good thing is you have to make these reservations. You're going to be able to go into this land and experience it, but. Are they going to do the same thing when phase two opens, which is going to be Rise of the Resistance, right? That ride? Correct. Is that going to be, are you going to have to go through this whole thing again? Or are they just going to open it? And so I kind of just wish like, okay, I just wish I can do both with my reservation, you know, because I'm sure the reservations are going to be hard to come by. Limited capacity. They obviously don't want thousands of people inside this particular land. You know, it's mm -hmm. dangerous and I, I get it. I get why they're doing it. I just wish that they were just doing it a little differently, yeah. but I can't be picky, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still really excited about this land. Don't get me wrong. But I think you can be picky because it's Disney, and you, ex you have a lot that goes with that brand, and they're only opening up a half-done land. Well, uh, agreed. Like, you know, but also, like, I guess, like, it's just kind of complicated because I know Disney has a lot of expectations. I know why they're doing it. I understand it. I just don't like it. Does that make sense? Like, I think we were all want, like wanting to go in and just experience this immersive just, land you know. and have you know smugglers run and have rise of the resistance and everything. And I think that I think one they just kind of want to get it open and have people go in and kind of like be like, okay, here here it is. Here's a taste of it, mm -hmm. and that will get people to come back. I do think it's a marketing ploy. Like, absolutely, oh, yeah, absolutely, that they're going to get people to come back. Here's like, the appetizer. Over and over you don't again. get the full meal, you know, exactly. That makes and, sense. And from a marketing standpoint, that's a genius move. 
uh, to do that <laughs> to a fan standpoint, but from a fan an standpoint, active theme you're park like, enthusiast, it drives us up the wall. Yeah, I get it. We understand. Re we're reaching and we're reaching. We want we want that whole buffet. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be like you don't want to look at an entire buffet and be like, oh, but you can only go this far. Yeah, and you're and like, you know what uh, it but is the, too. But the crab legs are way over there. You know, I feel <laughs> like Smuggler's Run has gotten so much exposure because it's the Millennium Falcon, and we kind of really understand that ride. The ride, but the other ride is what I was more looking forward to because right. I don't know a whole lot about it. Like I know snippets, and I know like you know some rumors, but they haven't really exposed Rise of the Resistance as much as they have been exposing Smuggler's Run. And so to me, that makes it more enticing. I'm like, okay, well what am I doing? You know, like I've heard like, you know, it might be a 30 minute walkthrough attraction that incorporates ride and screen and all that stuff. And that's going to be great. Um, it, it's just, it, it just kind of sucks, you know, cause it was like, Oh, like that was the one I was looking forward to again. I'm being kind of picky and greedy and I feel bad, but it's just how I feel. And this is why we're doing this videos because we're always going to be honest with you yeah. guys. And we're just a little disappointed, but cause we want to just take it. And we want to talk it out with you guys. Like yeah. what, what are you, these are just our opinions. We get it. We have been, uh, most, you know, most of us have worked in the theme park industry and we understand, um, for, for many, many years, how things are done. But you know, we want to know what you guys think and how you guys feel. Like everybody is super hyped up for for it to open and May thirty first is open, but then you read that fine print. Oh, only you know you need to make reservations between May thirty first and to June twenty third, and then uh, Rise of the Resistance is not going to be open. So how did you guys feel? Yeah. And leave that in comments below when you read that disclaimer. Like, are you still stoked for it? And you're just going to be going back and going back and going back and like in involved in, you know, visiting the land as busy as it's going to be because now we have a partial land and with as many people that were estimated to show up. This when you day. say partial land, is that going to affect how many people come now, though? Well, that's a good question. Or, you know, and I want to emphasize, you cannot show up May 31st to June 23rd without a reservation. Do not expect to get into the land. You must have that reservation or you're not going to get in. And we don't even know how the reservations are going to work. I know no. they say go to Disneyland.com. Oh, and another thing. Oh, my gosh. We're just tip of the iceberg. Um, well, first of all, I was going to say, just for clarification with you guys, um, for Rise of the Resistance, is it just the rides closing or is that part of the land that involves that ride is going to be done? I don't think anybody like, knows at this point. Like, obviously, like, you're going to, you know, they promise that there's going to be, um, you know, you still be a part of the story. You're going to have uh, to be able to sample the galactic food and beverages and explore the collection of merchant shops and everything. That'll be fun. And you will be able to go on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, but I don't know if they're going to let you walk the entire land and just have Rise of the Resistance cordoned off. You know, yeah. and it, it, but Rise of the Resistance is a very large footprint in that 14 acre land expansion. Yeah. So the show building, I don't think we're going to know exactly what we're going to be able to walk into until, you know, May 31st comes around or we start seeing even the uh, media coming in and filming what they're able to walk around and what they're able to see. And obviously on this channel, we want to cover it as soon as possible for you guys. Like we want to be there opening day. Oh yeah, We are going to do our absolute yeah. best. It may not happen though. And that's something that we kind of have to come to terms with. Like we may not be able to book that reservation opening day. It may have to be a couple days after, or who knows if we can't even get it then. And yeah. We will cover Galaxy's Edge for you guys. And we'll we're try gonna, to film everything. We're going to try. And I know people have been saying on the internet that they've already booked for Florida. But Florida works very, very different than California. I know, Matt. Yeah. So, you know, another <laughs> another um, thing that's kind of like, I understand why they're doing it, and there's some good and bad to it, is the Fast Pass situation. When you guys go to the Disneyland Resort and go to uh, Galaxy's Edge, there will be no Fast Pass availability option, anything, for Smuggler's Run. Fader down. He's going to get you. <laughs> Fader force choke. No, no. Riley doesn't like the fact that there's no. I know. There's no. He was probably behind it. No. So you guys can't use um, Max Pass, Fast Pass, anything for Smuggler's Run. You guys are gonna have to wait in that line. Now that's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing about it is that. Bree, explain what what would be good about there being so, no Fast Pass. I'm actually. 
really for no fast pass at this point because of the probably ridiculous weight that Smuggler's Run is going to have. Remember when Guardians first opened over at California Adventure, the line on day one was eight hours. Okay, now if you add fast pass to that, that is where you get those merge points and you have the four to five guests coming in from a standby and then you have a bunch of fast pass and max pass going through and then you've got another four to five depending on where their buffer zone is. At this point, they don't need a buffer zone. They don't need that. You can just basically, you get in line and it's a good old fashioned vanilla and you just go so through the So short story is that fast pass, believe it or not, actually makes the lines longer. It makes a standby line longer than it needs to be but instead of just having everybody just file in. And I no. think at this point they're just kind of like, we've got one ride open, let's just, just, just wait in do line, it the old fashioned way yeah, and just pay your dues and do it all in one. Um, and then most likely as soon as Rise of the Resistance opens up later in the year, which we have no date for that at this point, um, they'll start trying to incorporate Fast Pass. And well, whatnot. and even they, they worded it in a certain way. They said like for the time being, yeah, there will be no Fast Pass. So they're going they're, to open it eventually, it. but for right now, no. And you guys are just gonna have to wait in line. And you guys, I mean, obviously you guys know going to a new Star Wars land at Disneyland on a new ride, yeah. expect to wait in a long line. Hopefully it'll be worth it. I know I'll be waiting in it, but the fact that there's no fast pass kind of brings me a little bit more of a relief and peace of mind because I know that the line I'm waiting in, it's just everyone's everyone's going straight through. All right, facts. What you guys came, clicked on this video for? Bree, rifle them off. What are the facts for Galaxy's Edge? Facts time. All right, so we will be opening up May 31st for Disneyland California. And Florida will be opening up August 29th. I'm actually really excited about that, but I'm not going to reveal why. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Foreshadowing. It's a little secret time right there. Um, fact number two. Fact number two. Opening day for phase one, which means we're obviously going to see many phases throughout this land, just like we've been seeing. For Disney's Pixar taking here. after the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so guests will be transported to the remote planet of Bath. I'm oh, sorry, Batu, where they can become part of the story as the sample galactic food and beverages. The only attraction that is going to be open is Smuggler's Run. Rise of the Resistance will not be open at this time and no. will be opening at a later date. Again, that date has not been set. Guests planning to visit Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland Park between May 31st and June 23rd, and I know I have mentioned it like six times in this video, but I'm gonna mention it again. Must, <laughs> must have, have a reservation. reservation and valid theme park admission. So the reservation is no cost to you, but you must have a valid theme park ticket. So I'm fortunate enough to you know fork out all the money to Disney and have the pass that has no blackout dates. So you best believe that any possible date that I can make a reservation, I'm going to because I want to expose it to you guys as much as I can. But I still need a reservation. It doesn't matter. I can't yes. go into the land if I don't have it. Right. So Brie, I want to make a reservation right now. What do I do? All right. So the no cost reservation is subject to availability to access the land. The information on how to make a reservation will be available on Disneyland.com and the Disney Parks blogs at a later date. We don't know yet. Okay, we don't know. Guests staying at one of the three Disneyland Resort hotels during these dates, meaning May 31st to June 23rd, will, have, uh, will receive a designated reservation to access Star Wars Galaxy's Edge during their stay, and that is one reservation per registered guest. So does that mean you only get to go one of the days that you're visiting? If you've Sorry. got four people registered, and you've got four people coming to you, for, in, staying in your hotel room, and you need to register all four of those people, you can't have like, oh, well, we registered two, but then there are two of our friends came along. But like designated, no. does that mean like you're going so, on this so day? So they're basically going to like designate a reservation day for you, you need still you probably still need to go into the system to uh, type in that reservation. Oh, that's what I. That's yeah. what I. Okay. Okay. You have to be staying at one of our three hotels. It cannot be a neighborhood hotel. Grand it needs California. To be the Grand, the Disneyland Hotel, or the Paradise, Paradise Pier. Those are the those are our hotels, or those are the California Disneyland hotels, um, and they will be giving you that designated reservation register your guests. Now that's only between the dates of May 31st and June 23rd. After that, it's no holds barred. 
first come first serve okay a, a hotel reservation will not guarantee you inside the land after those dates star wars galaxy's edge will be open during normal operating park hours and it will not include extra magic hour or magic mornings at this time so that means guys i just cut you off because i just wanted to speak no, that means you guys <laughs> that you know if the extra magic hours at nine and the park opens at ten Galaxy's Edge will open at 10. It yes. opens on normal hours. So if you're staying at the hotels and you guys get to go in early to the parks, great. Ride as much things as you want, but you're not gonna be able to go to Galaxy's Edge. So none of this stuff, you guys, is concrete. Um, it could change. They could add it to extra magic hour, but not right now. And it's probably yeah. not gonna happen at least for the first year. year. I was but gonna, <laughs> I was like waiting to see what you were gonna say about six months, year. year. You know. uh, like we've already touched on, we, uh, Disney will not be using Max Pass or Fast Pass on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run at this time, and they will continue to evaluate the operational needs. Can I just say that when the, the Fast Pass comes out for Smuggler's Run, like you better get into that park, get your Max Pass out, and go boom, 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 yeah. and just take whatever you got, okay? If it's at six o'clock at night, accept it. You're just gonna have to deal yeah. with it because they're gonna go fast. It's like if you guys ever been and you guys go to the cart, what is going on with your animals today? <laughs> what is happening here? Vacation packages, park tickets, and Disney Resort hotel stays do not guarantee access to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The land, including participation in its experiences, will be subject to capacity restraints and other restrictions. I'm gonna read a bunch of lawyer uh, legal stuff. All right, want, so want last, me speed through it? So no. So last but not least, uh, let's just read the whole disclaimer that Disney put out saying vacation packages, park tickets, and Disneyland Resort hotel stays do not guarantee access to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The land, including participation in its experiences, will be subject to capacity restraints and other restrictions. All right, so that was just a whole bunch of Disney jargon saying we don't guarantee you anything at any time, <laughs> at any point. Okay, um, but... With that said, like I said guys, we want to have a conversation with you, so please leave your comments down below on how you feel about this land. Do you wish it was all the way open? Do you, do you Are you okay with the phases? Um, Can we just say that regardless, regardless, we're very we're excited. excited. We're, I, I'm so excited. I just... I, I just had high expectations, and I need to like... That's on me, I feel like. So I, I do still feel like when we, we walk into this land, because this is the first immersive land that Disneyland has ever done, that Disney has ever done. And when we walk into this land, we're going to be like, you know, the eyes are going to be wide, the mouths are going to drop yeah. because... I'm, I'm, are you going to be expecting to have that same feeling that you did when you walked through Diagon Alley in Florida? The, the level of theming for Diagon Alley and Galaxy's Edge, they're two completely different entities, and so they're, they're going for different things. I feel like Diagon Alley is going to be a little more showy, because it's magic and there's little other little things yeah. that they can do. Doesn't mean that Galaxy's Edge isn't gonna be like more beautiful. I just feel like for me personally, going into Diagon Alley was such a different experience because I'm more of a Harry Potter fan than a Star Wars fan. Don't hate me. Um, and Same. but still going into <laughs> Star Wars Land, you know, I appreciate the films and I'm gonna be very excited to see the Millennium Falcon and to see this new land and to interact with the guests and try out the food and the drinks. I'm really yeah. surprisingly, I'm like actually really excited for that part. Like, I can't wait for us to go there and do like a little like vlog of like everything they have to eat and try all this stuff because we're going to be doing that. Are you going to drink the blue milk? Yeah. Because I, I have to. I don't even think it's blue. I don't even think it's milk, but it's blue. I'm going to have to try so, it. Yeah. yeah. But you know, so it's not just Smuggler's Run that we're excited about, you know, and it's not just Rise of the Resistance we're excited about. We're excited about just interacting with the, the guests there and just everything. And I feel like I've been watching this go up since like 2016. Uh, when it started from a dirt patch all the way to what it is and I Technically, I mean like honestly, I'm actually really excited for rise of the resistance I and I too. think I think that's where I'm like Because I like I want it to be open because mm. it was supposed to be it's it is it well, is a positive such spin. a giant ride and so I feel like it's going to give other attractions like Escape from Gringotts and things like that are run for its money. Since if you actually read like how the whole story and everything's gonna play out, like 
I'm stoked I'm for stoked. that. I am so positive stoked for thinking that. on that one though is that at least we'll have something to look forward to when yes. it does open, and yes. we will most definitely be there. Can we film on the rides? I think we can. Uh, I'm gonna say so like maybe. maybe. All right. Giveaway time! The Hello. moment you guys have all been waiting for. What are we giving away? We are giving away one of three designs that were given away at the cast exclusive. We got the connections, that's right. Uh, costume reveal that happened in Tomorrowland. So just a disclaimer here, YouTube's not paying us for anything to give us no. away. Um, couple rules in order to get this fabulous poster. Rule number one. You gotta be subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. All right. Rule number two. You leave a comment down below. It doesn't have to be about anything. No, nope, I don't care what it is, but I'd re really, really love to hear your opinion about how you feel about the phases or how you feel about the land or whatever you want to say. How you feel about us? Bye. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And then what we'll do is we'll reply to your comment and try to get in contact with you. We'll be posting on Instagram Live on who the winner is and um, we'll ship it out to you, no cost to you. Or if you're local in California, we can probably just give it to you and we can just do a little meetup and say hi. Wouldn't you know, that be wonderful? Within reason. Yeah, we're you, not driving to San you, Francisco or anything. Yeah. No, we're talking like SoCal, all right? Within like a five mile radius. No, <laughs> no I'm just kidding. I'll go, I'll go 15. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're 10 minutes away? That's too much. No. <sighs> Why don't you come to moi? No, so um, yeah, go ahead and uh, and like it because it's a pretty cool poster. I tried talking Brie out of it. I was like, keep it. And Brie was like, you're right, I should. And then out of the goodness of my heart, I said, no, we should give it away. We should. So yes. you guys, we yes. want you guys to have it. We want to be one of you lucky guys to have it. Again, we'll be doing a random drawing and posting that on Facebook and Instagram. And then uh, you can DM us or email us with your address if you are the winner. Oh, can I just say one other thing too? And a few of you guys have flagged us down while we're at the parks and have been saying hi and like telling us how much the videos mean to you. And it's, it makes us happy. It makes yeah. us happy that there's actually people out there watching us because we're just two weirdos and who cares what we have to say. And, and some of you guys do, and it just makes us it feel makes great. It makes us feel good. It makes, it makes so, us want to make more videos and do things. We really, really so, yeah. appreciate you guys watching and supporting us and you know, always being so positive like there's a lot of hate on the internet and you guys yeah. for the most part so have whoever been great. was at the food and wine festival that said hi to mike hi hi but he was working at the was it a food one i heart cheese? cheddar or i heart cheese oh. booth it was a cheese booth i got like a cheddar cheese bread bowl okay and it was good but he was like oh i love your videos i saw where you know i was like oh <laughs> i didn't i'm so famous <laughs> So, but, but yeah, we are deeply humbled by by you guys saying and reaching out to us and saying hi. Um, so, with that said, we would like to give a little shout out to all the cast members that are working uh, inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Land, and um, the internet has blessed us with some beautiful memes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So on we'll what, what might happen and how it might be like uh, first day and not to put a damper we are so stoked for this land to open up but cast but, members brace yourself but I <laughs> I just winter feel is coming have some humor because these are pretty funny and also <laughs> be be kind to the cast members oh, okay yeah. they're they're working hard and it's gonna be stressful so don't be a dick. No, yeah, and don't show up without a reservation between May 31st and June 23rd. I, I don't know how many times I can say it. And if you created that meme that, that were the memes that we're about to show, like, shout out to us. Um, because we'll, we'll give we you credit. Will absolutely give you credit. We're not taking credit for any of these. We, no. They were just funny. They're hilarious uh, because we've all been there. <laughs> Anybody in customer service? Oh, gosh. We've all been there. I don't know. Fun fact, I used to work at Disneyland. I used to work at Disneyland, believe it or not, and, mm -hmm. uh... Jack's worked at Disneyland, I too. Did, I, w I wasn't even working, like, in the... I wasn't really exposed mm -hmm. to the public all that much, okay? I was, in, I was in third shift, and I would get little glimpses of people leaving the park, and I was like, oh my god, I am so sorry to all the poor <laughs> cast members who have to put on a smile <laughs> during... Because people are awful. Anyway, okay, so, uh... With that being said, go ahead and subscribe to this video, leave a comment down below, like, and uh, hopefully you'll win this sweet, sweet poster. And we're probably going to use the other outro because it was better. Always be ready because the force will always be with you. Ooh. Ooh.
Make a reservation. <laughs>